everybody. Welcome back to the continuation of Christmas in July. Tonight's going to be another Christmas project. This one's going to be a sign and I am going to be using the transfer that's called Into All Good Night. I'm pretty sure is the name of this one. I'll put links to everything in the um, description when we're done. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. Say hi when you come in so that I know you're here. So I know you're watching. If you've never been here before, my name is Jeannie and I am the blogger behind Crate and Babble, also an independent designer with Chaka Tour. How's everybody doing on this night? I am doing good. We're having, having a good week so far. This is the third Christmas project and I'm pretty excited about this one. Let me tell you, this is not a Chaka Tour surface. This board was one of two that I had bought months ago from a daily deal site called Decor Steals. I don't know, I may have mentioned it before, but I used the smaller one of these and now I have this bigger one to use. And I'm just kind of glad that I remembered that I had it because I think it's the perfect size for this, for this transfer. This of course says Merry Christmas. To all and to all, good night. I love this one because it's got the skyline with Santa going across the sky. I thought that was cute. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas Christmas designs. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I was thinking about this. Um, you know, I always think, okay, what color am I going to do these? But I just, I like the simple white on a chalkboard surface. I just, I just really like that. So that's what we're going to do. It just like back to basics of chalking on a chalkboard. That's what we're going to do. So I have, this comes in one piece and then there's a line and then you cut it apart. I've used this one obviously before. So um, it's already been cut apart and I've already got the box labeled. So we know what's going on. You know what? I think I've even used this to make kitchen tiles. I think that's what I've used that for also. So many things. Because these can be used. This was, this was used... This got a lot of love, for sure. So I'm just gonna peel that. I don't need to fuzz it because it's, like I said, it's been used, it's well loved. In fact, <laughs> it's it's probably past its eight to 12 times, I'm sure, because it's, it's such a nice, it's a good one. And so I've had this out at my workshops where people can come in to my house and use Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to do that at the top or the bottom. I think I'm going to actually put this part at the bottom. You do it however you want. But I think this is how I'm going to do it. And I'll just do one section at a time. This has a lot of silk screen, as you can see. There's a lot. It's not open like a regular stencil. There's a lot of silk screen. And there's some sticky left on here. Here's what I'm going to do to help bring the stickiness back to a well used design is just to wipe the back of it with a disinfecting wipe that helps bring the stickiness back so that's what i'm doing and let this dry actually if i can put it down on my velour side of my fuzzing cloth just to get that dry and that side that side won't add any fuzz because it doesn't need any for sure. Okay. So let's lay this. It does seem a little stickier now. Smooth this down. And get out my white. Now I just used this. So I shouldn't have to. Nope, it's good. It's a good consistency. So what I'll do is just put a blob down just a small amount on the transfer and then get one of my squeegees so here's what I'm gonna do since there's not a lot of stick I'm gonna hold on to it I'm gonna hold on to this transfer pretty good so that it doesn't run underneath I have way too much chalk paste on here way too much take some off and I'll just spread this over 
my Santa. My Santa sleigh and his reindeer. And then there's some stars in the sky. I'll just do all of this in white. That'll be a nice silhouette, I think, on the chalkboard. And then here's the skyline of the town. This is a lot of silk screen. On this silhouette, so I'm just going to hang on to it as best I can and get it all covered. You know, my husband got a little nervous when he saw me going down in the basement going through Christmas boxes. Like, what? <laughs> Not already. <laughs> He's used to me doing early because, you know, I'm being a, you know, a blogger, I have to work, a, you know, we have to work a month or so in advance on things. And so he's used to the house being decorated for the holidays, like a month before everyone else. But he's, he's gotten used to that. He doesn't like it, but he's got, he doesn't seem to mind it so much anymore. But, you know, when he saw what I was doing and he's thinking, okay, it's July. Why is she pulling out Christmas? <laughs> it's just for this week. Don't panic. <laughs> yeah, he's come to terms with a lot of these. Poor Dan. He has come to terms with a lot of this stuff. Gotten used to all of the pillows. Although he still makes remarks about them. I ignore him. <laughs> So there's no such thing as too many pillows. Come on. <laughs> but, you know, he just feels like it's his job to make a comment <laughs> about these kind of things. <laughs> I guess just to let me know that he's still, he's aware. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's what we need. We need another pillow. So, you know, some kind of comment like that. I just laugh. But I, I'm not hanging these yet in my, my downstairs. I do have them in my hallway out here on the second floor. I do have some Christmas, all the ones I've been making this week. Okay, that's... Take a peek. Very cool. Look at that. Look at the detail. Okay, so I'll just put this in the pan of water I've got beside me. I'll clean that off later. Okay, then finish this off. Let's see how much stick we have on this top piece left. Like I said, this one, I might have to get another one because this was well used, but this one, this one seems to have quite a bit of stick left to it. So let's get this part dry before we mess it up because, you know, I do that. I, I want to see your comments. I can't see them from here. I'm too far away. Any questions? And if you want anything that I'm using tonight, don't worry. I will update the description with everything that I'm using. Get this dry. And thanks for the sprinkle love. I appreciate it so, so much. Really, really do. And um, we've got happy mail. Happy mail, so stick around to the end and I'll just scroll through it. And then the first one I bought, when you tell me that you sprinkled, will be the winner. Get this dry. All right. My nose is running. I got the tissue here. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Welcome. If you're new here, say new. I really appreciate it. Whoops. Like, what happened to my transfer? It fell right on the floor. All right, let's get this put on. enough room yes I do have an, just enough this board is perfect for this so I'm gonna flip it this way so I have easier access to this I think I'll use a smaller this is the small size squeegee I think I'm gonna use a mini for The rest might be a better fix here. Okay, I'll start down here. And just, just like I always say, what do I always say? Just like buttering toast. If you can butter toast, you can do this. Just covering up the silk screen areas, removing the excess, put it back in the jar, that kind of thing. I'm going to go over it this way to get those ridges out. That's it. That's all you do. Continue on. And then make sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. Get it nice and thin. Um, here's a good rule of thumb. You should be able to see the design underneath. Like that's thick there. And then when I get it thinner, I can see what the design is. So that's a good, good rule of thumb to follow. Make sure that you can see the design. If you can't see it, then you might have too much chalk paste on there. All right. All right. Boy, it's been a rainy day. I wasn't, I didn't listen to the weather, so I was surprised at all the wind and rain we got. A lot of noise out there. Just gonna lift that up. Finish this up. Then I'll show you how I'm gonna finish off this board. Real simple. Um, with just a little. Just a simple bow, I think. I think that's the way I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Um, I was looking through those Christmas tubs down in the basement because I thought, you know what, let's put some um, like garland and like, nah, let's not. Th this design is so detailed and stuff, I didn't wanna take away from any of that. So I thought a simple, a simple bow and I have a lot of choices with ribbons but I decided we're gonna go simple okay I'm gonna put the excess back in the jar I think the neighbors are out there fighting so I apologize if you hear that out in the backyard there okay there it is pretty 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 I'll also put this in the water. Excuse me, my nose is running. Okay. There it is. Don't you just, I just love that. I just think all white is perfect. I just do. Now, you know, looking at this like old, timey kind of um not old timey but it's kind of a rustic frame right so i thought i don't want to compete with that with like glittery ribbon or anything like that because i think that would just be too different but um i see oh can you hear that yelling back there um, so I think, here was my first thought. Let me know what ribbon you think would look pretty. 
the, I was first thinking of this red. Um, it's just a can, not canvas. What what do you call this? It's not burlap. I don't know what you call it, but just this simple red color. And then I just looked up and saw this and thought, well, this kind of goes with this board. And I just really, really like this. So I think I'm going to go with it. This is kind of pretty. What do you think? All right, so let's try. Hi, hi, hi. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate you. Every, okay, plaid. Good, good, good. I'm going to go with the plaid. I think that this board is calling out for plaid, right? I really think it is. Okay, we'll go with it. Now, there are... Oh, I was going to, if I was going to use this wider ribbon, just use this technique of just making a simple bow. And now I'm thinking, oh, because this one's so narrow, I might need a bigger bow. Let's do a bigger one and then we'll, we'll see. Let me get rid of this stuff here to make room for... My easy bow maker. <laughs> Good, it's a chance to use my bow maker. Uh, you, know, you guys, <laughs> I can't make bows very well, so I I enlist the aid of my easy bow maker. All right, I'm going at the four inches, I think, for this. <laughs> for this. Oh my goodness! If you don't have one of these, and you struggle with bows like me. I can't recommend this thing enough. I used a, you know, a 50 or 40% off coupon at Michael's a couple years ago. And boy, that was the best, <laughs> that was the best five bucks or whatever it was I ever spent. Because, ugh, me and Bose. All right, so we've got two loops. Let's do three. I hope, I don't know if this is the right size that I'm doing, but that's what we're doing. All right. I think this will be good. Where's my tail? Okay, there's a tail. There is a tail. Let me cut this off. Then, hold on. Don't go anywhere, Bo. <laughs> Let me cut off a piece of this, this wire. This is, in case anybody's wondering, Oh, I thought it would have the gauge, but it doesn't. But it is from Joanne's. I can see that. Um, 113 gauge floral wire, florist wire. It's thin enough that I could cut it with just scissors. It's not super duper thick. Now, I'll just fold this, like crease it so I can see where the middle is. Get that ready. Then... I'll grab my bow off here, keep my thumb at the middle, and then twist it back here. Now for me, I found that tying it gets it tighter for me um, because that's a, a, big, a big struggle for me is getting it tied tight enough. I think I've got it. Let's see. All right, guys, let's, let's take a look at my sad bow and see if I can make it a little happier <laughs> by fluffing this up. Fluffing up the loops. I, mean, I don't know, I might need to make it loopier. I might need to get back to the drawing board which is the easy, no, no, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be good. I mean, oh yeah, it's not looking too horrible. And I'm just gonna twist this onto the back. Oh, let me trim my, I always have to think about this. 
which way am I going when I cut this? There we go. And let me cut this one. There. Our bow's not so bad, is it? I think that both that ribbon is good. The bow, mm, you you know, you could probably make a better one, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> but there it is, all done. Hey, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate this. And like I said, I will. Um, oh, I gotta scroll and find a name of somebody that sprinkled the love. <laughs> Jill, what do I do? That's a good question. I donate a lot of them. Um, I just sold a bunch of them at a um, garage sale, and I'm donating, and I've donated the money to Watts of Love, which is Chakator's charity. Um, so that's what I do. I I don't typically sell them. I I usually I, I usually donate my projects because it it gets to be <laughs> it gets to be a bit much. So that's what I do. So I'm just, I'm trying to get the comments to come up here. And find somebody's name. If you shared, could you please tell me? This is not letting me see. Okay, here's somebody that shared. If it would please come up. Sandy, thank you very much. You have a happy mail little package coming from me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another Christmas project. I'm, I'm loving this. Are you liking this? I'm liking this this week. And um, come back next week, too, because we're going to be doing Halloween. I know we're kind of going backwards, but, you know. We do what we have to do. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.